so uh uh so before even we de we develop or we learn about our skincare routine or just uh having something that is really tailor made for you let's first jump into getting to know and to understand your skin type because you can't really not uh, have a skincare routine without getting to know your skin type does that make sense yes it does so um I'll start by uh, just giving us how to be able to get to know your skin type. So, when you wake up in the morning, the first thing, or even at night when you go to sleep, wash your face. When um, you wash your face, pat it dry. Patting means this way. Pat your face dry. After you've patted your face dry, uh, now get to feel how your face feels. Okay. So... If you've parted your face dry and the first thing that you want to do is go apply apply oil on that face, that means you are a dry skin. And when you've dried your face and around this area, that is called, this is a T-zone, around this area is a bit oily. It's oily and also around your cheekbones. This place is a bit oily. Get to understand that you are an oily skin. The other type of skin is a normal skin. So, normal means it can't be a vice versa of you are either at this place at your cheekbones, you are dry, and at this place you are oily. Or... At this place, you are dry, and at this place, you are oily. So that means you are a normal skin type. And then there is that which is called combination. Combination is a combination of oily skin and dry skin. So it's that varies. And then there, we have a sensitive type of skin. And a sensitive type of a skin is a skin that is prone to... Uh, to so much breakouts and uh, yeah breakouts so now we've known our skin type right right so let's dive in and just develop a skincare routine first and foremost we want just to do a something simple and the three there are three steps to developing a good skincare routine one is Cleansing, moisturizing, hydrating, and scrubbing. Those are four things. And these things can really be done very, very, very fast. You know, uh, those things can really be done very, very fast. And... Uh, when we say about cleansing, what is cleansing? Cleansing is the removal of dirt from your face. Sour, sour. Basically, you can cleanse your face with water. You can cleanse your face with a cleanser. And there are very different types of cleansers depending on your skin type. So... Let's jump in and just um, talk about different types of uh, cleanser. And I'll show you some of the cleansers that I have or I use. There are three types of cleansers that we have. There is something that is called a gel cleanser, a cream cleanser, and a foam cleanser. So, on me here... Hope that you can see. This is a foam cleanser. Basically, why do I say it's a foam? That it has formed a foam from its name. Then,
so uh basically i'll just name some of the brands or some of the um skin types that are good for different types of skin uh, of of cleansers for this form cleanser it is good for all skin types um then we have something that is called uh the cream cream cleanser best brand of cream cleansers that i have encountered is one that is nivea and there is laurel hope i have said that name correctly um they have so many so so nice form cleanses and uh basically if you are a normal skin a normal skin that form cleanser really works for you so it's a normal to combination or a normal to dry skin but every time that you're purchasing a, a, a product kindly go through the ingredients get to understand is it really for your skin type just rather than being told okay go take it go use it you know so it's good also for you just to to read those to read the information that are on the are on the product it's good product knowledge for you so and um uh, so those are those are cleanses that we also have we also have wipes as cleanses you've encountered uh white cleanses they're also good it's just something that you are able to wipe to wipe away dirt on your face so those are the cleanses that we do have and then on to the next thing is um oh uh, after you have cleansed your face we will moisturize but i will skip the moisturizing part of it first now then i'll come back to it later so what i'll talk about is something that it's hydrating and when you are hydrating your skin why do we hydrate our skin we hydrate our skin to first tighten our pores and rejuvenate it so we have different types of hydrators or those are things that is called toners it's basically toning our face we have different types of toners we have rose water we have orange waters and also different brands have toners so or rose water is really a very natural toner that they are not alcoholic and alcoholic so on non alcoholic it is rose water orange water then for alcoholic it is any branded product that always have a really a small content of alcohol in it purpose is just to hydrate your skin and to tone it toning means keeping something to shape when i want to tone this i am placing this thing to shape that is really toning you know hope we are really uh, learning something and hope we are understanding so so let's say i have woken up i have washed my face i'm from the bathroom i have washed my face then i move out i hydrate then i moisturize moisturizing is to re is to keep the skin sample that's it keeping it sample to revive to keep it moisturized so that that moisture in your skin is it okay that is the reason is to we moisturize our face to place the moisture in our skin intact you know and we have different types of moisturizers there's oil control there's shine control and there is just yeah those are the types of um for oily skin maybe you really don't love the oil in your face and you want something that will reduce the oil in your face so you can go for an oil control moisturizer but for dry skin you always need something that always keeps your face always moisturized always moisturized so then uh for what i use personally like these things for me i use an an eucalyptus oil uh, eucalyptus oil basically why i love that oil 
eucalyptus in itself it's it it is an it is something that is really fast natural and also has other benefits to my skin so i prefer using that oil but you can get something else in the market and um after you have um, then there is something that is called exfoliating um it, exfoliating is is designed to remove dead skin from your face exfoliating scrubbing is one of the same thing you're just removing dead skin from your face and when you're doing this it is uh, on a weekly basis Maybe you can do it once a week or twice a week, depending on how, how, how fast, how, how fast your, your dead skins are growing. So then we have different types of uh, face masks. We have clay we have gel mask, we have soft mask, and every other mask. Uh, basically, the work of those all masks is just to exfoliate and remove dead, dead skin cells uh, from your face. And uh, gives, your, gives your face a good... Like, just give that face that a healthy look. And... Um, one thing also you can I I in I really much encourage is the use of serums. Um, serum is a rejuvenating oil that helps re, to fast rejuvenate your skin, and also, yeah, fa, uh, rejuvenate your skin. That is the most important aspect of serums. And while using serums, there are uh, different types of um, works of serum. So for what I'm using, hope I don't know if you can really see. So I'll just read some of the. It's a Doctor Organic Bioactive Skin Serum. And one of the most, um, one, it helps in re uh, rejuvenating, has a combination of oils like sunflower, rice, vitamin E, and vitamin C. So... That is some of the things that this serum has. Like, I can really not get vitamin E, vitamin C from other things. So what serum has, those things that you really that your skin really needs and it cannot get, it always have, serums do have them. It is really important just to have uh, serums as your, in, to add them into your skincare routine. So, hope you've learned something. Thank you so much for listening and just um, watching. Kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel, comment, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. So, from the word skin care, we have three words. That is skin care. Skin care and then routine. So, basically... We have an we have a subject and our subject is our skin. So care means from just an English word is to take care of something. Then routine is a habit. Something that you keep on doing each and every day uh, so that you may be able to have to uh, to take care of that thing. I'll give an example. When you're a mother, you always have a routine on how to Take care of that infant, that small boy, that baby that you've just given birth to. That is simply creating a routine. 
and I will really say this uh, when you're creating a routine also check on three things one uh, we are learning so one check on your finances your lifestyle check on your lifestyle your finances and your social class where you really are because for you to have a skincare routine that really works for you all these things really needs to be placed at, at a perspective because a skincare routine is something that you do for a lifetime you know and uh and when you are creating something you always have also just to check on your budget how's your money how your finances are you able to purchase these things are we in agreement till there so um in the makeup perspective ama in uh, in the makeup perspective and everything else uh, when having a skincare routine there uh there are things that one needs to so hi everyone my name is Ann Mwenja and I am a makeup artist so welcome to my youtube channel and uh today what we are uh, talking about is about skincare that is why my skin is so flawless like this that is why i really don't have makeup on i only have just a gloss on uh so yeah so and really don't forget to like comment share like comment and share so we'll begin by just um what i want us to talk about is um talking about skincare and um so many many a times i always use this phrase very much often and uh i always say this is the key important thing is really not to be constant applying makeup but have a, a skincare routine that works for you taking care of the skin is important than each and every day applying makeup sour sour so first and foremost we will define what skin care is from the word skin hope you hope you see this skin then care and then routine so there are those three words care is to take care of something 